Hello. Good evening. This is another day where I will are coming back to our class. Remember, it, it has been a long time since we came back to class. Today, I'm welcoming you back to class with a topic known as the sequence and the series, which is a form three topic, lesson number one. Subtopic is introduction. We are going, I'm going to introduce the topic. And then now we dwell on sequence. So uh, we need to understand uh, the difference between sequence and series. So you, we, we are going to start by defining what is a sequence. So we will now say a sequence a sequence with a common a sequence with a common difference a sequence with a common difference is called it is going to be called an arithmetic it's going to be called an arithmetic sequence so an arithmetic sequence is a sequence with a common difference. So what do we mean by the word common difference? So I will give you an example. So I will say e.g. 2, 5, 8, 11, it is. This is a sequence. Because the numbers written there are separated by a comma. So we have 2, we have 5, we have 8, we have 11. So these are numbers, but under sequence and series, we call them terms. So those are terms of the sequence. The number that comes first is known as the first term of the sequence. So when you find the difference between two consecutive terms of a sequence, you obtain what we call a common difference. So in this particular case, uh, uh, the common difference the common difference whereby we use small d as a symbol for common difference is going to be obtained by taking 11 minus 8, which is the same as 3. If you take 8 minus 5, you will get 3. 5 minus 2, you will get 3. So as you can be able to see, 3 is common or true. So if you take any two consecutive terms, then you find their difference. What you obtain will be called the common difference. So that's now what we call an arithmetic uh, sequence. On the other hand, I want us to define what is uh, a geometric sequence. So I will say a sequence, a sequence with a common ratio, with a common ratio is called is called a geometric is called a geometric sequence is going to be called a geometric sequence i will give you an example so that you can be able to see the difference between a uh, arithmetic sequence and a geometric sequence in this case you will have something like 3 6 12, 24, it is. So if you look at this, this particular terms, they are numbers, yes. But once they are written and separated by a comma, they become, they form what we call a sequence. They form what we call a sequence. Now, can we prove whether it is going to be geometric sequence or arithmetic sequence. Yes, we can. If you take 6 
minus 3, you will obtain 3. If you take 12 minus 6, you will obtain 6. If you take 24 minus 12, you will obtain 12. So as you can be able to see, the, the answer you obtain by dividing the, the consecutive terms is not equal or true. It differs. That means it cannot be a com I mean it cannot be called an arithmetic sequence. Simply because if you take the difference between two consecutive terms, what you obtain is not equal or true. So that tells you you are not dealing with an arithmetic sequence. So what if we divide instead of uh, subtracting? What can we obtain? If you take 6 divided by 2, I mean divided by 3, you will get 2. If you take 12 divided by 6, you will get 2. If you take 24 divided by 12, you get 2. So when you divide the corresponding or the consecutive terms of, 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 of our particular sequence, then you obtain a number that is common or true. That tells you the number you obtain by dividing is what we call a common ratio. So since this number is equal or true, it means what we have obtained is a common ratio by dividing two consecutive terms of a sequence. Therefore, this sequence is going to be called a geometric sequence simply because it contains a common ratio. So this is what we call a geometric sequence. Because today we are talking about introducing the topic that is known as sequence and series. And after doing that, we now look at the sequences. From there, uh, I want us to learn on how we can obtain any given term of a sequence. Remember I said that these are numbers separated by commas. So we call them terms of a given sequence. So I want us to start from arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence. To obtain n term, to obtain n term of the sequence, we apply we apply the formula. We apply the formula n term is equals to a plus n minus 1 times d where n will represent the number n will represent the number of terms or the position of the term in question. A will represent the first term, the first term will represent the first term of the sequence, first term of the sequence. And then D will represent the common difference, which is obtained by subtracting two consecutive terms. Common difference. So that's the formula. Now you understand. To obtain any given term of a sequence, we apply the formula which says A plus, into bracket, N minus 1 times D. A is the first term. So let's consider this arithmetic sequence here. So if you were to, to determine the, the, the 12th term, then you were to apply this formula and then try to obtain A. So A in this case is 2. 2 is the number that is coming first. So that's why we will take A as our part, I mean 2 as our part of A, being the first term of the sequence. N will represent the number of terms or it can represent the, the position of the term you are you are being asked 
For example, if somebody tells you to find the, the, the 15th term of the sequence, therefore your n becomes 15. D is the common difference. Common difference, the, remember, I tried to show you how you obtain the common difference. You take the consecutive terms, and those terms which are following one another. Then you find their difference. Then you will obtain a given number. That number will be your D. So after understanding that, I want to give you an example. I want to give you an example. So we will now say example one. Example one. Given the sequence, given the sequence, then the, the sequence here can be 4, 7, 10, 13, find the 12th term of the sequence of the of the sequence then we say solution so how do you about that we have been given the first four terms of the sequence then we are being asked to find the fifth term of the sequence so to get the twelfth term we will apply the formula a plus n minus one times d so we, it means we will try to find A, the power of A. The power of A, I said, is the number which comes first in that particular sequence, which is 4. The power of N, I said N can represent the number of terms of the sequence, or it can represent the position of the term that you have been asked. In this case, the term is the 12th one. That makes N to be 12. What about D? D is the common difference. You just take two consecutive terms. Then you find their difference. I can say to take 7 and 10. So 10 minus 7 will give me 3. So for us to be able to get the fifth term, we will now come back to our formula. We will come back to our formula and say, the twelfth term is equals to a. A in this case is four into brackets. N is twelve minus one. Then I want to write it down here where I you can be able to see the twelfth term is going to be a being 4 in this case and n is 12 so you open the bracket and put 12 10 minus 1 times d d is 3 so you put 3 here you are going to get 4 plus 12 minus 1 is 11 10 times 3 this is 4 plus that 3 that 3 plus 4 gives you that 7 so that's how you get the, the twelfth term of that particular sequence. I want to give you another example. Example two. Given the sequence, given the sequence, given the sequence, so the sequence can it be 7, 11, 15, or the way to 43, find the number of terms. Find the number, find the number of terms of the sequence. Find the number of terms of the sequence. So solution. Identify what you have been given. You, from this particular sequence, you have the final term there. The last term is given. 
A is 7, that's our first term. D will be 15 minus 11, which can be 11 minus 7, and this will give you uh, 4. So we don't have any, that's what we need. So we will use the formula of getting n term. So we will say n term, which we don't know in this case, will be a plus n minus 1 times d. But the n term here, the value of this term here, we will now apply 43. So that we can be able to find the number of terms. That's n. So you will see me coming back here. And where we have the n term, because we have the last term, that will be our, uh, our n term. So which is 43 is equals to a. A in this case is 7. Uh, then plus n, which we don't know. Then minus 1. Then times d. d in this case is 4. Let us open the brackets. We will have 43 is equals to 7 plus 4n minus 4. Then it will be 43 is equals to 7 minus 4 plus 4n. 40, uh, 7 minus 4 will give us 3. Then plus 4n. We take now 3 to the other side. 43 minus 3 will give us 4, 4n. 43 minus 3 will give us 40. That is a uh, being equal to 4n, we now divide by 4, we divide by 4. So our n, which is representing the number of terms of the sequence, will be 10. Simply because 4 comes here once, goes to 4 10 times. So our answer becomes 10. So the number of terms of this particular sequence here is 10. Our next lesson, we will look at uh, the geometric sequence. Remember, I've, in, I've introduced the topic sequence and series, and I've looked at an arithmetic sequence. So in our next lesson, I will look at the geometric sequence. God bless you. Thank you for listening to me. See you next time.